Hey there everyone, Morgan here from Simple Networks and today's video is one that I am super excited to talk about. It was only two days ago that I got the email from Ubiquity in my inbox that stated that Unify Talk and the Unify Talk subscription service was finally available for me to try. I guess it has been available for a few weeks now, but I just got the email and when I saw that man I was so excited. The reason being because I think Unify Talk has the opportunity to be a really big deal, especially for small businesses. It could be a real game changer if executed correctly. So today we're gonna to talk about uh, just some of the basic details of Unified Talk. We're gonna look at it compared to another service, in this case, Vonage Unified Communications. It's the one we use. We're gonna do a kind of a sample cost analysis uh, as well as a sample deployment. So let's get right into this. I'm real excited. Let's go ahead. All right, so to start off with, I just want to go over some of the basic details, and I'll leave a link down in the description uh, to their website where you can read more on it if you want to. But the general idea is that Talk is integrated into Unify OS. So you may or may not know that Unify OS is the morphing of all Unify's different software applications. So you have Unify Network, Protect, Access, and Talk are all now part of Unify OS. And I was originally a little worried that it was only going to work with the Dream Machine Pro, but good news, it does work on the Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus, which makes deploying Unify Talk uh, even more accessible to more people. Um, because if you have a smaller network and you don't need the Dream Machine Pro for everything, the Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus will also do it. Was really, really glad to see that, and I did confirm on my Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus that it does install, so it works. They're also offering three Unify hardware phones, physical phones, and they're pretty cool devices. You have the Flex, which is only 29 bucks, and it's your bare bones, basic voice over IP phone with call transferring and all, all your basic stuff there. That's kind of your, uh, you know, give to the general staff phone, if you will. Only 29 bucks, which is a fantastic price. You step it up from there to around $79, and you're looking at the Touch, which is really cool. It's a more classy-looking device, and it has a smartphone-style color display on it that allows you to not only do everything that the Flex can do, but it enables uh, video calling, which is coming soon. Um, and it also lets you look at security camera feed through Unify Protect, which I think is really, really neat. And then the Touch Max, which is just the jumbo-sized version of the Touch. It's got more of a tablet-style screen. It's like the one you give to the CEO or your high-level execs, you know. Um, and it's just got a bigger screen, does all the same stuff, Unify Protect viewing, conference calling, video calling. I forgot to mention that both the Touch and Touch Max have webcams for video conference calling. They also have some accessory devices, including the conference, which is a little puck-looking thing. It actually looks like a Unify access point, but it is a voice over IP phone designed to be in your conference room, on your table, or mounted to the ceiling or something like that. I'm really excited about that because I've been looking for a conference room uh, phone device for a long time, and uh, Unify usually does a pretty good job at making things work simple and well, so I'm excited about that. And they also have the Unify Talk ATA, which is just a little box that adapts any traditional analog phone set, handset, into a voice over IP enabled phone to work with uh, to work with Unify Talk. So that's pretty cool. Upgrade your old hardware. And then the coolest part, in my opinion, is the subscription phone plan. Um, before they had this, Unify Talk or Unify's voice over IP service didn't really make a lot of sense to me because you could only manage the devices and all that. Um, but now they are offering a phone plan, which is awesome. It's $9.99 per month per line. Uh, and each line gets up to 3,000 monthly minutes, which I think pretty much shows that it's aimed at small businesses. And you guys know, if you watch the channel, I'm all about small business, so this is really cool. All right, so let's do a little comparison to a different provider. I went with Vonage Business Communications because that is what we use where I work, and Unify Talk is a serious contender for us right now. It poses uh, the ability to save us some serious cash. So let's compare real quick. So, Vonage Business Communications, uh, the way it works is you're paying per extension or per phone or user, if that makes sense. So it's $22.99 per month per extension. You do get unlimited calling, and you don't have to pay for the equipment. They ship all the equipment to you, and it's technically on a lease that you don't pay for. It's free, really it's included in the price, right? You also pay a $5 fee for each local number. And you have over $25 a month 
in additional fees, which I, I hate. It, may, it just drives the bill up unnecessarily for things that probably don't need to be charged for, you know? Um, but Unified Talk, on the other hand, it's $9.99 per month per line. So this is equivalent to the $5 for the local number. So really you're paying 10 bucks per local number. Uh, included in there is 3,000 minutes worth of calling, again, for your smaller companies, right? You do have to purchase and own and maintain the equipment, which is different than borrowing it for free from Vonage. However, that local number charge doesn't apply because it's already in that 10 bucks a month, and there's no additional fees. It is 10 bucks a month per line, flat. Um, so that's kind of what we're looking at. It's, a, it's two different ways of providing service. You have Vonage, who is essentially leasing you the entire package for a set price per extension. And then you have Unify, whose model is you buy the equipment and we just charge you for the SIP service. So let's look at a cost analysis here. And this is where it gets really, really cool and why I'm really excited about Unify Talk. If we look over on the Vonage business communication side here, and this is actually the numbers that my company pays before tax. Um, all of these figures are before tax, but this is actually what we pay. So we have five extensions, five physical phones, uh, five users. We pay $114.95 a month just to have those five physical extensions. And this is why I say that even though you're getting the phones and you know getting them for free from Vonage, it's built in because holy moly, look at that. On top of that, the one local number we have is costing us five bucks a month, $25.99 in additional fees, and it's literally just listed on our bill as fees. Um, but you do have the equipment cost of zero because you don't own the equipment, you're just borrowing it. So while the initial cost is zero dollars, the total monthly cost is $145.89 every single month before tax, making the cost for one year $1,750.68, which for our business is, it's pretty high because we really don't rely on the phones a whole lot. Most of our meetings and conference calls are held over Zoom and our phones are really just there for, you know, more professional communications or a little bit of customer support here and there. So let's look at the Unify Talk side of things. Those five extensions, nothing per month because you buy the phone and the extensions work internally regardless of what you do. So if I buy 20 phones, all of those 20 phones can make internal extension calls regardless of what I'm paying uh, or if I'm paying. The one local number, that's your 10 bucks a month. There's no additional fees as far as we can tell listed anywhere. Um, and then there's the equipment cost which is $145. So basically what I did there was I took five, um, I took the price of the flex phone, the cheapest one, the $29, multiplied it by five, um, just to make it even to what we have for Vonage, it's 145 bucks. So the initial cost is gonna be $154.99. That's gonna be for your equipment costs in the first month. Um, but your monthly cost is only gonna be $9.99. So for year one, you're paying $274.87. That's 12 months of your, um, of your local number and the initial setup cost. But for year two, you've already paid for the equipment at that point. It's just $119.88. Um, and this, this is just insane to me uh, because even after year, I mean, it pays for itself within two or three months basically two months and you've already paid for uh, the equipment with the money you're saving uh, that you used to be paying to Vonage if you were to do this specific example. And then after that, it's basically 120 bucks a year for phone service, which for us is really, really great. Um, again, this is all before tax, um, but these are the real numbers that we pay Vonage. So let's take a look at a little sample deployment. Um, and this is very basic, but this is just how I'm thinking about it in my brain. If I were to start setting something like this up, and we probably will. Um, so what I would do is I would have our, you know, our regular everyday employees um, who would just have different jobs depending on what department they're in, yada, yada, yada. I would give them the flex phones because they really don't need anything fancy. All they need to be able to do is call each other, 
and make calls out and receive calls in uh, from customers occasionally. Um, other than that, they don't need to use their phones for anything else. So for four flex phones, you're paying 116 bucks. Then you've got your upper level management. You know, they, they do a little bit more communicating with um, within the company and with customers. So we'll give them a bit nicer of a phone. We'll give them the uh, touch phones, the Unify Talk touch phones, which gives them a nice little display to use and they get the ability to do some conference calling through the phone if they wanted to. Then for the CEO, we give them the nicest phone they have. We give them a Touch Max phone uh, for 129 bucks, and I forgot to mention the two Touch phones are 158 So we give the CEO the $129 phone um, because he's the boss man. He gets to see all the cameras uh, for the uh, Unify Protect system. He needs the big display because he's got important work to do, right? So a deployment like this in phones and equipment's only going to cost you $403. Now, obviously, that 403 is not including a Cloud Key, a Gen 2 Plus, or a Dream Machine. But let's be honest, you're probably not using Unify Talk unless you're already bought in to the Unify ecosystem. And I think that's a fair assumption uh, because it wouldn't really make sense to use Unify just for voice over IP. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to share this information with you guys because I was really stoked about it. Um, and I actually ordered two of the Flex phones that I'm going to connect up to my cloud key. I'm going to start a trial and I'm actually going to make a video where I go through and I test the features um, of Unified Talk, uh, both the subscription plan and just the general management software to see if it really stacks up and to see if this uh, cost analysis right here, all that money we're saving, um, to see if this is accurate, basically. Because if Unified Talk comes back and it doesn't work at all like a standard, um, you know, voice over IP system or PBX system or whatever, um, and there's some serious features missing, then this doesn't make a difference, right? But I think uh, I'm hoping it's going to be uh, a pretty good system or at least show signs of potential. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you found it helpful in some way. Be sure to stay tuned as I will be putting Unify Talk to the test in a video coming up very, very soon. In the meantime, be sure to check out some of my other videos like the ones you see on the screen here. And with that being said, subscribe if you want to, don't if you don't, and I'll see you in the next video.